All right, it was a hot day in the Piedmont, but a pretty good looking day. Again, a nice one with good visibility and no smoke problems. Temperatures were racing on up though to the mid 80s by lunchtime today, and we thought we were heading for 90 and we got there. We did officially hit 90. We're sitting on 89 degrees right now and no storms to worry about out there right now. 89 our high, our reading, our current reading, 91 our high and 72 our low. And with our 90 degree day, we're adding to our number, but we're running behind schedule this year. We've had all nine this month in July. We're running close to where we ought to be now for the month. 8.7 is normal through this date, so we're right on target now. And for the year, you see we're at nine compared to normally at this point when you average all the years is 16.6. So we're behind schedule. By the way, some interesting statistics on 90 degree days. Our biggest number recorded ever for the triad was in 1914. We had 82 days of 90 degree heat. 1925, we had 80 and we are currently in a 121st place, which is last place. But of course, we got a lot of summer to go. July and the rest of July and into August and September, we'll be adding some more, but we won't be getting anywhere close to those top five years. Looking at the numbers, they're in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees right now. Satellite radar is quiet today. Been a couple of little showers in the east, but no big storms like they had with that tornado. And then you can see back to the southwest some activity, but no severe weather threat for us. It's down the road, down in parts of Georgia and Alabama. That's where the fronts are, and the front's going to continue moving to the east this weekend, there may be a lingering shower behind it, so we may get a stray shower tomorrow, but it's going to be a little bit cooler, a little bit less humid. And then on Sunday, same deal for us, but the front's going to back up a little bit and we could see a little activity too. You'll see a little bit of green popping up during the day tomorrow. Again, most of us won't have a problem. And if you do, it's five, 10 minutes of your day. The majority of the day is going to be great. And then for Sunday, a similar day, most of the day is good, but there could be a little shower activity and the chances are up just a little bit more on Sunday. Severe weather potential tomorrow and again Sunday. We're not looking at trouble. We do have a level zero threat, which means there may be thunder, but it's not expected to be anything severe. Muggy meter has come a long ways. We're back into the comfortable moderate range for a few more days, but we will work our way back to humid. Our beach forecast is for 90 tomorrow and 89 degrees on Sunday. And if you're going down there for a longer stay, you're looking at your best chance for a shower storm on Monday. Our mountain forecast is 73 and 76, partly cloudy tomorrow and again Sunday with a chance for a shower, highest chance at 40% on Sunday. In the Piedmont tonight, 82 degrees and partly cloudy at 8 o'clock. Overnight, we're down to 67. And then tomorrow, we look for a high temperature of 84 with partly cloudy skies. And again, we could see a stray shower, but most of the day is going to be really good. And I said partly cloudy. It really could be sunny to partly cloudy. There's going to be a period where it's just mostly sunny. As you look at your extended forecast, we got 30% chance for anything on Sunday, 85. 40% chance here Monday. That's our highest chance. So still, even then, it's not a washout, and a lot of folks won't get anything. 84. 88 on Tuesday, and then we're back in the low 90s Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I am working on the 8 to 12, and I have found the hottest temperatures we've had so far this year coming to our area, and I'll have that for you tonight at 6.